Welcome. This is the eve of the winter solstice, the longest night of the year. This is the stillness behind motion, when time itself stops. Now, darkness triumphs, and yet, gives way and changes into light. We will be awake in the dark. We will call the sun from the womb of the night. As we celebrate the solstice, we join across time and space all the festivities of light emerging from the dark. May all the Yule fires, all the Hanukkah candles, all the Christmas lights the world over, all the lights we are about to kindle here today not only brighten the darkness of winter, but also brighten that darkness of our hearts. May all these lights, set ablaze by people of goodwill across the globe, assure that spring will follow winter, hope will triumph over despair, peace will eclipse war, and love will outlast hate. We begin tonight by redirecting our circle to the sacred, to honor the elements and the directions. We begin our ritual tonight with the casting of the circle with words and song. We welcome families, friends, and spirits from the four corners of the earth, east, south, west, and north. We invite you to visualize the circle we invisibly form together with one another tonight. See, sense, or feel our deep connection here and now. Heart to heart, this circle is cast. We are a circle within a circle with no Circle within us. 
Welcome the darkness. Embrace it as a canopy from which the stars can hang. For there are always stars when we are where we ought to be amongst the faces we love best, each with our own place, each with our own purpose, as fixed and familiar as the constellations. The darkness is beautiful. How else? Can we shine? Go slow if you can. Slower. More slowly still. Friendly dark or fearsome, this is no place to break your neck by rushing, by crashing into what you cannot see. Then again, it is true, different darks have different tasks. And if you have arrived here unawares, if you have come in peril or in pain, this might be no place you should dawdle. I do not know what these shadows ask of you, what they may hold that means you good or ill. It is not for me to reckon whether you should linger or you should leave. But this is what I can ask for you, that in the darkness there is a blessing, that in the shadows there be a welcome, that in the night you can be encompassed by the love that knows your name. Thank you. 
Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it's queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind in downy flake. The woods are lov lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. In winter, all the singing is in the tops of the trees where the wind bird, with its white eyes, shoves and pushes among the branches. Like any of us, he wants to go to sleep, but he's restless. He has an idea, and slowly it unfolds from under his beating wings. As long as he stays awake, but his big, round music, after all, is too breathy to last. So it's over in the pine crown. He makes his nest. He's done all he can. I don't know the name of this bird. I only imagine his glittering beak tucked in a white wing while the clouds, which he has summoned from the north, which he has taught to be mild and silent, thicken and begin to fall into the world below, like stars or the feathers of some unimaginable bird that loves us, that is asleep now, and silent, that has turned itself into snow. When despair for the world grows in me, and I wake in the night at the least sound, in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water, and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of the wild things, who do not tax their lives with the forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water, and I feel above me the day-blind stars waiting with their light. For a time I rest in the grace of the world, and I am free.
Old one, this holy night brings good people joy. The moon walks in the fields of the sky, and bef- behind her walks the round red sun, and behind him walks the lovely stars. For the white, white moon is the good wife, sweet, and the round red sun is the good man, strong, and the clear, clear stars are their children dear. Old one, old one, welcome to you, old one. Welcome to the snow and the ice and the dark. The bitter cloud of your breath, the pillow feathered snow. Old one, cold one, though we fear your storm, yet we welcome you to blow with cleansing breath, to blow away the old year and usher in the new. Our ancestors feared death and evil and all the dark powers of winter. We too may fear the darkness of war, discrimination, illness, and selfishness in the world and wonder if we are dooming ourselves and our planet to an eternal winter. Let us not forget, however, that we kindle light on this sacred night, hope in one another, and in all who form the web work of peace and justice that spans the world. In the heart of each one of us burns the spark of luminous goodness. Tonight, we open to this luminous love light deep within us. The womb of stars embraces us. Remnants of their fiery furnaces pulse through our veins. We are stars, the dust of explosions cast across space. We are the earth. We breathe and live in the breath of ancient plants and beasts. Their cells nourish the soil We build our communities on their harvest of gifts. Our fingers trace the curves carved in snow and clay by forebears unknown to us. We are a part of the great circle of humanity gathered around the fire, the hearth, the altar. We gather tonight in gratitude to celebrate our common heritage.
Winter is the time for cold winds and freezing breezes. Winter is the time for snow. Winter is the time when winter turns to ice. I hope spring comes soon. The old solar year has completed its cycle. So have some of our behaviors and beliefs completed their cycles and outlived their usefulness. This is the time for shedding that which no longer serves us and calling into ourselves that which we desire to give birth to. I invite you to turn inward now, to close your eyes, to sit quietly and breathe. Breathing in what you want more of, breathing out that which you desire to release. As you breathe in and then out, allow your body to sink into the chair or the sofa or the floor, your arms and your legs becoming heavy, your thoughts quieting, aware only of the rhythm of your own breath as it moves in and out, releasing, desiring, allowing each breath to move you deeper and deeper into the quiet, deeper and deeper into the dark. Breathing in and out, deeper and deeper into the dark space within. The earth around us is dark and it's barren. There is no growth out there. Inner growth is the only thing to be nurtured now. Sense, picture, or imagine the warm, dark, quiet place within you. The dark, sacred womb space within you. Rich in the fertile soil that holds the seeds of thought, of action, of desire that you bring to life in the upcoming year. See, sense, or imagine the darkness more deeply now. What seeds have you planted there in your dark, rich, fertile soil? What seeds have you planted there? Be aware now of the tiniest sparks of light illuminating the darkness. You are seeing, sensing, imagining the moment of conception. Seed casings breaking open, tiny roots sinking into your rich, dark earth and taking hold. This sacred moment of new life and new beginnings. Let it move through you now. Sparks of light 
the light of conception flowing through your veins, hopes, and dreams taking hold, illuminating the dark, calling to you. Let yourself on this darkest of nights surrender to the light. Rich, dark earth and sun are within you, and in these perfect conditions, your seeds of hope of action, of desire, have taken hold. Let a word or a symbol come to you now, a word or symbol that will help you remember this sacred moment of conception, a word or symbol that will help you remember what seeds have taken hold within you. And when you have that word or symbol, place it in your dominant hand and place your hand over your heart and breathe this new life in, allowing it to firmly take hold within every cell of your being, surrounding it with light and love. And as this light and love fills you, allowing it to pour out of you luminous love light filling the dark womb space we share together on this night, connecting us to each other, filling our community with life and love. And now gently allow yourselves to become aware of this time and space and our connection to one another Feel the chair or the couch or the floor beneath you. Open your eyes, taking a cleansing breath, and be here now.
the longest night and shortest day of the year, when the powers of light and warmth seem weakest, and we are immersed in the dark. But in the ancient goddess traditions, darkness was not something fearful. White, the color of bone, of snow, was the color of death. Black, the color of fertile soil, was connected to the darkness of the womb, to gestation, fertility, possibility, and mystery. Mythically, tonight, the great mother labors to birth the sun and the new year out of the womb of all possibility. Which of the myriad potentials will come to light? What kind of year will it be? What child will be born from that womb? That part depends on us. We are the midwives. We must use our human hands to shape history, our human minds to choose what qualities we need and want to bring to birth. We must use our human will to make the choice. The womb of stars embraces us. Remnants of their fiery furnaces pulse through our veins. We are stars, the dust of explosions cast across space. We are the earth. We breathe and live in the breath of ancient plants and beasts. Their cells nourish the soil. We build our communities on their harvest of gifts. Our fingers trace the curves carved in snow and clay by forebears unknown to us. We are a part of the great circle of humanity, gathered around the fire, the hearth, the altar. We gather tonight in gratitude to celebrate our common heritage. Great spirit of love, come to me with the power of the north. Make me courageous when the cold wind falls upon me. Give me strength and endurance for everything that is harsh, everything that hurts, everything that makes me squint. Let me move through life, ready to take what comes from the north. Great spirit of light, come to me out of east with the power of the rising sun. Let there be light in my words. Let there be light on my path that I walk. Let me remember always that you give the gift of the new day and never let me be burdened with sorrow by not starting over again. The fields are bare and the livestock thin. We light candles in your honor that you might gather your strength and bring life back to the world. O oh, great sun, we ask you to return, to bring back to us the light and warmth of your fire. Bring life back to earth. Bring life back to earth. We are in darkness now. Oh, how we pray for your return. Mother of darkness, mother of light, earth beneath a soul in flight, songs of love and love of light, guide us through our hearts. Mother of darkness, mother of Oh. 
wonder if the snow loves the trees and fields, that it kisses them so gently. And then it covers them up snug, you know, with, with a white quilt. And perhaps it says, go to sleep, darlings, till the summer comes again. In the beginning, there was light, infinite and expansive, flowing out from an unforeseen center. Throughout creation, there is light from the steady sun, the gl glowing moon, the flashing meteor, the twinkling stars, and the auroras dancing in the northern skies. Within each part of creation, there is light, slowed down and held close by every cell and molecule, by each atom and element. Within you, there is light, the same light as the source, the same radiance that is in small creatures. May this light be a constant reminder to you of your nature and your kinship with all beings. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert, repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of rain are moving across the landscape, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese, high in the clean blue air, are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over, announcing your place in the family of things.
It matters that we hold the light for one another. It matters that we bear witness to the light that holds us all, that we testify to the light, that shines its infinite love and mercy on us across oceans, across borders, across time. Round and round the earth is turning, turning always round till morning, and from morning round till night. Round and round the earth is turning, turning always round till morning. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of the universe. Your playing small doesn't serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were born to manifest the glory of creation that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. And as we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. Let there be light, the light of joy, the light of happiness, and the light of contentment. May it illuminate our paths and fill our lives with peace. Let there be dark, for it is from our dark places that we are brought forward, tried and tested, and impelled toward growth. It is in these places that we realize compassion and we learn to love. And there was day, and there was night, and there was joy, and there was sorrow, and it was good. So the shortest day is here, and the year has died. Everywhere down the centuries of the snow-white world, People have come singing, dancing, to drive the dark away. They light candles in the winter trees. They hang their homes with evergreen. They burn beseeching fires all night long to keep the year alive. And when the New Year's sunshine blazes awake. They shout, reveling. Through all the frosty ages, you can hear them echoing behind us. Listen. All the echoes sing the same delight. This shortest day, 
as promise wakens in the sleeping land, they carol, fest, give thanks, and dearly love their friends and hope for peace. And so do we here, now, this year, and every year. We are opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light deep within. We are opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light deep within. We are opening. We are opening. We are opening. To the luminous love light deep within, we are opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light deep within. We are opening, we are opening, we are opening, we are opening, we are opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light deep within we are opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light deep within we are opening we are opening we are opening we are Each of us holds. Together we will fill this space with light. Together we will send our light out into the dark world. Serenity. Harmony. Creativity. Healing. Openness. Health. Justice, celebrate, paciencia, health, voting rights, growth, togetherness, new beginnings, tranquility, hope, Truth. Renewal. Critical thinking. Love. Love. Resilience. Courage. Ease. Acceptance. Serenity. Kindness. Harmony, healing, inclusion, openness, justice, for new beginnings, for new beginnings, for new beginnings. The sun has returned. Blessed be the light. The light was for all time and the love of all people. May the blessing of light be upon you forever. Light within and light without. May all the paths you walk be lighted with peace. When it's late December, dark and cold, where is the light? When old man here is bending low, where is the light? When the sun runs off to bed too soon Where is the light? And there's nothing but a skinny moon Where is the light? Can you tell me where is the light? Where is the light? Where is the light? Oh, the light's inside of me When it's dark each morning when I rise Where is the light? And it's dark when my
my eggs are frying Where is the light? And it's dark when off to work I go Where is the light? And it's dark again when I get home Where is the light? Can you tell me where is the light? Where is the light? Where is the light? Kerosene, where is the light? I'm twinkling like the Pleiades, where is the light? And I'm dancing like a candle flame, where is the light? And I'm flaming like a fruit flambe, where is the light? Can you tell me where is the light? Can you tell me where is the light? Can you tell me where is the light? Shine.